In today's video, we're going to tear down the GTA 6 trailer and try and deduce what we can learn from it about the heavily awaited next entry into the GTA franchise. But before we get into today's video, throughout December, I'm giving you the chance to win a PS5. All you've got to do is comment on one of my videos this month and subscribe to the channel. I'll be announcing the winner in a week's time on the 22nd of December. And one more thing, thank you all for 3,000 subscribers, majority of which have all come in the last two weeks. It's been mental. I really do appreciate the support. I've put a full post about this on my community tab. Go and check it out but thank you all so much you're legends in today's video i'm going to split all the things we can see in the trailer into two different categories one things that show mechanics characters vehicles and gameplay that we may expect to see in the game and two animation sequences added in for production value these are scenes that are similar to the gta 5 trailer that added realism but were not seen within the game i've done a separate video explaining this which is in the pop-out banner on the top right so throughout this video i'll point out what's to be expected in the game and what's just added for production value so in this first opening shot we can see on the screen that the headlights of the cars look far more realistic than we saw in gta 5. in gta 5 they were just sort of two blobs of glow but within this we can actually see the glow of the headlights on the floor in front of the car rather than being a light blurred mess it actually shows the beams of the lights which shows far more advanced ray tracing than we saw in gta 5. another thing to note in the top right hand corner we have a jumbo jet it looks like it could be like an a380 or a 747. the vapor trails behind this look far more realistic and looking at this this is playing into the fact that we've got volumetric clouds i think in this game upon release we will have volumetric clouds and ray tracing i don't think these are things added for production value however there is one thing that i think may have been added for production value which is the lens flare that you can see here just above the Patriot truck. This is a cinematic quality. Whether we'll see this in the game or not, I'm not too sure. With lens flares, it's a fine line. There's a lot of mods for GTA 5 that add in lens flares, but nine times out of 10, they just look a bit rubbish. So it'd be interesting to see whether this is something we get in the game, whether it's just in cutscenes, whether it's actually in the gameplay itself, or whether this is just something added for artistic flair. Another thing to note here is that we have fog in the background. When I say fog, it's like humidity. Um, I think this will be in the game because in Red Dead Redemption 2, we had it. And obviously that game's five years old now. By the time this game comes out, that would have been seven years old. I'm assuming this is relatively accurate to what we can expect to see in the game. In the distance, it looks like we have the prison, which is in that first shot with Lucia. You can see the guard towers there. And something else I want to point out, the water here looks so realistic. Now, Rockstar Games put out some job listings a couple of years ago looking for people to design water animations. And it looks like they got someone very good because this looks absolutely incredible. Something else we can see from this as well, do you know that boat in the distance? The wake it's producing lasts a lot longer. In GTA 5, usually within like one or two boat lengths of the boat, the wake would disappear. You can see that the wake appears to last a lot longer. Now in this shot here, we can see a roll off of the highlights and a roll off of the shadows. Now whether this has been done for cinematic qualities or the actual gameplay itself will consist of rolled off highlights and shadows, I'm not too sure. Something else that's really cool here, and now this isn't even related to gameplay or anything, but see how the sun, the lens flare, behaves quite realistically to how it would in real life. Coming around the edge of this pole, I'm just getting nerdy now but like yeah that's just really really well done so this is the prison shot i was on about those guard towers are very similar to what we saw earlier in the video within that first shot just here now one of my previous videos i mentioned variable density objects and you can see here that lucia's ear is slightly transparent this is behaving the same way your ear would with light shining directly through it really cool attention to detail and of course we have the hair physics here which rockstar blown out the water it's incredible <laughs> see on the face here we can see an example of rolling off these highlights really tastefully done in the bottom right hand corner here we can see there's another the person in a jumpsuit and some pictures so that could be her cellmate's family which looks like it's a dude now in prisons men and women don't normally share cells so that's quite interesting i'm not sure that's an oversight on rockstar's part or we'll get some more context when we play the game and also here you can see like on the bed the rust it's so well done like gee rock it's just rockstar games isn't it and even here the fact that like the padding around the edge of the window has been pulled out and the paint isn't properly done and here we have particulate effects in the air a good example of particulate effects is red dead redemption 2 but also like the last of us i think the last of us absolutely nailed it with particular effects so really interested to see whether we'll see these in cutscenes or whether we'll actually see it in gameplay i'm assuming there will be an element of it within the gameplay but it's quite gpu intensive so the ps5 pro is supposed to come out in like november 2024 sort of time that could probably handle it fine but whether the ps5 can potentially potentially now this shot here stephanie she appears to be a worker at the correctional facility we're not sure of her importance within this role but it'd be interesting to see how like integral she is to the gameplay we saw in the artwork that rockstar games put out that lucia's wearing an ankle tag so maybe stephanie's one of the reasons that she manages to get out of prison and go on tag instead of serving a sentence who knows or maybe she did serve a sentence 
We don't know. Now here we can see some really good examples of ray tracing and the way shadows are cast across the person's face is really realistic. There's a certain cartoonish element to this, but it is a video game. But the execution of it is absolutely brilliant. Once again, we have the particulate effects here. So tastefully done. And even here, you can see the texture within the prison suit. The eye animations are so clean. Like in GTA 5, the eye animations were really good, but like a lot of the time it looked like people were staring. Especially if you zoomed in on your character when they were driving, the eyes were wide open. It was a bit it was a bit jarring. Now I've done a whole separate video about the boats of GTA 5. That'll be in the top right hand corner now if you want to watch that. But this is one of the things I'm most excited for. I'm a huge boat nerd. Um I've just realized how sad that is saying it out loud. But I'm a massive boat nerd, so I'm really excited for this. Like even here on the boat, you can see the window of the boat is open. It's just a little attention to detail thing that we haven't seen from Rockstar before. And we've got dolphins. We've got what could be a dolphin or a shark. Probably a shark down there. And let's go back a little bit. I'm pretty sure there's turtles. Yeah, so down here you can see turtles as well. Obviously, Rockstar have taken what they've learned from Red Dead Redemption 2 and probably implemented a lot of those mechanics into this game. They've got the assets to do it, well, why not? And you can also see the wake here is far more realistic. So this boat here is a twin prop boat. So there's two wakes there and you've also got the bow wake as well. And the way that this moves out from the boat is so realistic and even the way the dolphins splash in the water is so good sharks here are a bit close to the beach <laughs> something else we can see these birds here the shadows that they leave on the water is so crazy like it's so realistic it's nuts like that's probably one of the things that stood out to me the most as a gta fan looking at these shadows and the way the water looks so realistic the color the fact that we have now defined waves is crazy but i'll remember this shot forever this is one of those shots that's just wow beautiful now this is one of those shots that really points out to whether something's in the game or not in the game so two things to notice here npc population and density firstly something that i think will be in the game is that we've got npcs in groups so we've got a group of like five down here we've got three there we've got two there people participating in activities as a group i feel is something that we're very likely to see in gta 6 now in 2022 when we had that 90 minutes of leaked game footage we could see in some of those shots that there's groups of npcs actively participating in activities together now something that i don't think will be as prevalent in the game is for example here we've got a large density of NPCs, but we also have a large density of trees. Now this scene to render is quite intensive. I'm not saying it's impossible, but what we've seen in the past is Rockstar, when they release a game, they release it slightly dumbed down. So every single console without a doubt can process it. I've seen this in a few of my other videos before. People are saying, well, my PC could handle it. And Rockstar will make the game that's most compatible with the highest selling console because that's where the majority of their customer base is going to be. PC gaming, although bigger than it's ever been before, is not the key demographic for Rockstar Games, which is the very reason we're not getting a PC release before a games console release. A games console release is going to be their biggest demographic. So I mentioned in my last video that when they make a trailer like this, they will turn off like the rest of the map and everything you can see in this shot here is the only thing that will be rendered in. So they can turn the trees up to 10. They can turn the NPCs up to 10. They can render things in in their full capacity because they don't have any other limiting factors. They're probably making this trailer on some of the most powerful PCs ever. And something else we can see here as well, there's a little bit of movement to the trees as well with wind. So tastefully done. And something else as well, I've just noticed the shadow from this helicopter up here on the beach. So good. Now there's three things I want to comment on here. Top left, you can see the vapor trails from that plane again. Really clean implementation of the vapor trails. You can actually see they have texture within them. And on the right hand side here, we can see 919, which is probably a reference to a nightclub within the game. In Miami, there's a banner that's constantly flown down the beach, which is for promo for a nightclub. So I think this is Rockstar's play on that. A lot of people have theorized that this is the release date. I think the release date is more likely to be April 2025. I've done another video about that. You can check that out if you want to. Now, another thing to note is draw distance. So in gaming, draw distance is how far things render into the distance and how much detail we can see. The draw distance of this is absolutely massive. In the background on the right hand side behind these buildings, it looks like we've got hills or mountains. Now, the nearest mountains to Florida, I believe, is in Georgia. So that could be like upstate slash Georgia side of the map. But the draw distance on this is absolutely mental. And the fact that in the background, we can still see some texture in that water. Now, whether we're going to see that in the game or not, I'm not too sure. I personally don't think we will. Just because once again, it comes down to rendering, draw distance, etc. Maybe for the PC version, we will. Now, I've just noticed one more thing as well when I'm looking at this. You can see towels and stuff hanging on these balconies. It'd be really interesting to see. And I'm not sure if this will happen but with all the other effort rockstar have gone to maybe they will whether 
these towels and stuff appear and disappear and they change what balcony they're on and all that sort of stuff like are we going to have the same constant things within the game that don't change over time for example we've got the mile high club in in gta 5 which has been in construction for like 10 years in my head it would have made sense that they dropped the dlc with that completed but who knows now in this shot here on these windows on the bottom right it looks like these are actual interiors i'm not sure if this is rockstar using really high resolution parallax effects where the camera moves and the lights move with inside the building or whether these are actually visible interiors now a leak has said that about 70 percent of the interiors in the game would be visible this was the leak that came out a couple of days before the trailer dropped whether this is true or not we don't know but it's still an interesting thought something that's done so tastefully here with ray tracing is see this balcony here the reflection of the light coming off it you just get that glare as it hits the angle of the sun and once again we have that plane in the top side of the screen now a lot of these intro shots all have a plane in them which is really interesting i could be wrong but it looks like there's sparks coming off the back of this plane i'm not sure if i'm waffling i don't know i'm not sure you guys tell me what you think in the comments below now this shot here this just screams red dead redemption something we can see here is the the person's hair that sat on the front of the airboat but the way that moves in the wind is so realistic, so cool and so well done. Then of course we have the wildlife. So the fog in this, the level of density of fog, I can't see this being within the game. Now, once again, I need to preface all of this. I am not an expert. I do not work for Rockstar Games. I am not an expert on this, but this is serious density. Surely this can't be easy on a GPU. And you've got this little lens flare down here as well. Now, the only reason that's making me think that we will get lens flare in the game is primarily because it looks like this lens flare is coming from global lighting. Normally, some video game trailers add lens flare. You can tell it's not part of the game because the lens flare is in the wrong place. Lens flares work very, very particularly to the placement of the sun versus the capturing tool, i.e. the camera. So the fact that the lens flare in this is always consistent with the sun may indicate that it's part of the game. This is just one of those shots that is just Rockstar flexing how good they are at creating wildlife. Since Red Dead Redemption 2 and they've done all of that research into creating open landscapes and wildlife, there's a certain arrogance they've got to them now, which is rightfully deserved because this is beautiful. Look at the way the water splashes off the feet. Now, something I'm interested to see is, for example, when you walk through one of these scenes, not that you want to with all those alligators, but when you walk through one of these scenes, how does the grass behave? So for example, in Red Dead Redemption 2, when you're traversing the map in the snow and your feet leave footsteps and you go through grass and the grass moves out of the way, at the point of releasing GTA 6, Red Dead Redemption 2 will be seven years old. It'd be interesting to see how much that improves in this game. God, there's so much wildlife. Okay, I stopped the video there because I just wanted to watch through that clip over and over again. <laughs> right now, this shot, this is one of those shots that I had to watch over and over and over and over again because there is just so much going on. So let's just start left to right. That's the best way to do it. So we can see here that this person on the left is spraying someone with sun cream. And then just behind them, you can see that there's a group of NPCs together as a group and quite a big group at that now moving just right again there's people on the sunbeds and they're all sat in different positions which is something very interesting because in gta 5 when people were sunbathing on the beach there was two positions they were in they're either flat on their back or they were flat on the back with one leg up and that was it and another thing to note here as well is skin tone so there's so many different shades of skin rockstar have typically only stuck to like three white pigmentations and two black pigmentations but in this they've shown that there's everything in between it's so tastefully done soul sisters <laughs> that's pretty smart now going to the top of the shot on the left we can see there's a helicopter in the distance and some birds flying past it and then we can also see another helicopter there now this guy running towards the camera look how his foot kicks up dirt dirt sand look how his foot kicks up sand and of course he has the dog with him i reckon i'm not sure if we'll be able to have them as pets in gta 6 but there'll definitely be more variety of pets that we can see maybe we'll have cats dogs and iguanas <laughs> now something worth noting here is pretty much everyone's position is different people aren't all doing the same stance you've got two people here that look like they're lying down in a similar way but their arm position is different this person here is clearly on their phone doing something the person here is turning around to look around behind them what's going on this dude's being a bit of a wrong gun there's so much booty in this trailer is mad <laughs> it's actually like one or two people's jobs at rockstar to do booty physics i'm pretty sure now going back to the left side of the screen sorry from a bit all over the place there is just a lot here to take in people's footsteps are actually leaving marks in the sand of course we have another plane in the distance over there and then we have a sea helicopter i'm not sure what the correct term is for it but you know what i mean the ones that can land on water and we can see here this guy throws a drink to someone else and the physics of that are actually really good and the way that this inflatable ring just floats in the water and it moves and tilts with the waves 
so realistic. We've got two people here taking a selfie. We've got two jet skis floating in the water. And the way that the waves are rolling in, whereas in GTA 5, it was kind of like random patches of white to signify waves. There's actually a roll motion to the waves. Now, in terms of real world locations, I haven't been to Miami Beach since I was 10 years old. So I'm... <laughs> I don't really remember much. I'm actually, it might sound pretty crazy, but next year I want to actually fly out to Miami and do a full series going to all the real world locations. Let me know if you guys want me to do that because I will do it. Um, I think that'd be really cool. I haven't been on holiday in a while and might as well make some content. Now I mentioned this in my boats video. I did a full breakdown of this scene in the boats video so you can watch that on the top right. But some things to note here, that container ship there, I hope we can drive that. I'm really interested in like the realistic elements of the game. But I'm not really interested in hover bikes like we got in gta 5 online and stuff like that but that doesn't do anything for me that that doesn't phase me like it doesn't make me excited but like being able to like maybe operate cranes and drive boats just it's so cool like i really hope we can do that and i think we might be able to but i'll get to that later in the video so i love the realism here as well the fact that as the boat comes up the person's like ducking with the boat like they're, they're moving against the motion of the boat we had something similar in gta 5 which was really good and really good for its time but this just looks so much more compelling and realistic and the water physics here like the, the water's actually splashing above the boat and around the boat and the wake from this boat in front is is pushing out towards the boats in the background it's unlike anything we've seen before from rockstar see in this shot here as well we've seen the top we've got that lens flare because there was a lens flare in gta 5 and red dead redemption 2 but it was really primitive so here we can see the texture of the carbon fiber properly reflecting off the lights which shows some really accurate ray tracing and the headlights here look far more realistic than what we've seen before and we've got a dude leaning out of a car on his phone filming a rolling shot which is something else we've done another video about this is whether we'll have social media in gta 6 which obviously pretty obvious by now we will do but whether that will accompany its own app I've done a video about that that's also in the top right i'm shouting out all my other videos in this video <laughs> like leaning out of cars doing rolling shots whether we'll be able to do that in the game or whether that's just a cinematic quality that they've put in for the sake of the trailer i'm not too sure but we'll find out in just over a year something here as well as interior lights within the car we've got this blue strip which is actually very similar to what mercedes have been doing in their cars recently so something i want to say about the shot this is the only part of the trailer the only part of the trailer which i thought maybe doesn't feel too realistic i don't know what it is about her movement in the car but it just feels really robotic like the way that her arms move back at the exact same rate as the rest of her body that's the only thing i didn't like but her face looks so realistic there oh my god but like, i am picking here like I, I i'm very much nitpicking at little things the flames have been shot out the back of that. Cheese. That looks like maybe a Ferrari F8 clone or a, maybe a Corvette. This for me is the most realistic shot of the whole entire trailer. The lighting in this is phenomenal. It looks like it's just gone to Google Maps Street View. Rockstar have outdone themselves with this shot. Like on the right hand side here, we can see that there's like a coffee cup that's like wedged underneath the front of the car. And there's trash on the floor that looks three dimensional. It's not just like a texture that's been added in. It's absolutely phenomenal. And working from the right onwards, we've got a guy leaning against his car with another guy talking to him. Once again, emphasizing that people are traveling in groups. Then in this car, you can see some of the exhaust gas coming from underneath of the car. You've got a really overexposed white lens flare coming from this car on the left. This person over here next to the Rolls Royce Cullinan or whatever it's supposed to be in the game, he's looking to towards the person filming the video. It looks like he is anyway, showing that the NPCs have awareness of what's around them. And obviously they stood there with the boot of the car open, not something you can do in GTA. Obviously I know it's a really pointless thing to have, but to have, be able to have like car meat. And this area here is supposed to be like Wynwood in Florida. So, so realistic, scarily realistic. Got a homeless person sat on the floor down there. But everyone's doing their own thing, which is, this is one of the really incredible things about this. It's not like random NPC programmed to walk down the street and that's it. This dude's against the wall on his phone. This person's kind of leaning against the wall, talking to two people. There's interaction. It's a living, breathing world. Now, in terms of population density, whether we'll see this much density within the game itself when it comes to, to launch, I don't know. But one thing Rockstar have showed us is that the trailers never, ever do the game justice. Like, the trailer's always incredible, but the game's always way more incredible. GTA 5 looked way better at launch, even on the PS3, than it did in the trailer. This makes me very excited to, like, in a year's time, or a year and a half time, when this is a little bit more polished, what this could look like. Like, the sky is so realistic. And another thing about this shot as well, I'm only flying through the air. We've got the sparklers over here. We've got a really dense amount of people within this scene. How well that will be rendered within the game, 
we don't know but it's really cool that the nightclubs actually feel like they've got people in it rather than just being locations the locations aren't made by the location itself it's made by the people within it it's really cool to see and this shot as well this shot is just so realistic there's a few theories as well though this could be a main character based on the leaks we saw back in 2022 um, I'll have it on the screen now. You can decide whether you think that, that this is that character. The tattoos as well, so realistic. Something else to note as well that this isn't actual like in-game footage, this shot. And the main reason we can tell that is purely down to depth of field. So the fact that this person's out of focus, that person's in focus. This could either be a cutscene or it could be something that's just programmed through the gaming engine itself. The depth of field in this is far more cinematic than it is gameplay like. Now this shot here I'm not going to talk too much about because once again this is in my boating video. As you can tell there's a lot of boats in this. So we're going to skip past this but the one thing we will say is that the draw distance is absolutely phenomenal. The fact that we can see everything in the distance. Once again there's another plane in shot. Another helicopter in shot. It's a very lively shot. The lights in the distance don't seem like random specks of light that have just spawned off in the background. It looks far more realistic and even the lights here around the water the glow is just far more realistic but also bigger boats here have a light on the bow which is far more realistic to what we're seeing in real life but also there's people on the boats with lights on because at night in gta the boats were all just pitch black and dark obviously there was a light with inside the boat but like it wasn't dynamic it wasn't realistic whereas this really is rockstar have gone above and beyond with this we can also see some potential interiors that may be explorable who knows, but we'll find out. Now, this shot reveals a lot. This shows that Rockstar are really, really getting uh, cocky with what they can get away with. So this here is the Cheetah, which is in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And this is clearly, obviously, a knockoff of the Ferrari Testarossa, which is, by the way, one of my favorite cars ever made, apart from the Lamborghini Countach. Then we've got a Hellcat here. We've got a Porsche knockoff here. And we've got this car over here, which was in GTA 4 and GTA 5. There's, there are some repeat models here that were used from previous GTAs, but something that we we do know from the leaks is that in the interior you'll be able to adjust like the sun visor the seats the steering wheel column all of that stuff so a lot of these interiors will be updated for this game and in the background here we've got what looks like a lamborghini aventador clone of some sort very cool oh i've just real this person in the background looks like lance vance from gta vice city the 3d and the hd universe in in the gta series they're parallels they don't communicate with each other and they're completely different universes i don't think we're going to see any reference to those characters in vice city within this game but there may be a slight hint or easter egg in like different parts of the game whether it be posters or throwbacks to the 80s or something but that really does look like lance vance even walks like him if it was the same universe lance vance in this would be like 80 70 or 80 years old now so it wouldn't really make sense something else that we can see here as well is this person has pulled the door handle and they're pushing the door open with their hand which is far more realistic but also the inside of the door jams has texture which we didn't have in gta 5 but like all of the interiors have been focused on and you can see this dude here has got a so i've read a iguana or a chameleon on the shoulder more wildlife references a lot of people i saw this on twitter a lot of people saying this is the same three people in the first shot the person in the middle is they're wearing the same color dress but it's not not the same like at all and here as well on the top left we can see a parallax interior with a tv on whether this is actually a visible interior or whether this is just the parallax effects they're using we don't know nightclub shot there's not too much we can say about this other than the fact that we can see that there's like smoke machine effects particulate effects and people dancing looks far more realistic than it did in gta 5 and gta 4 and even like these these lights they just look far more realistic the fact that they're not just on or off they kind of fade in and out between frames it's quite nice and quite tidy now this shot i'm not going to talk too much about i covered this in my boat video but as i mentioned earlier in the video about container ships there's a container ship here on the water and usually if it's a moving vehicle in gta you can hijack it so i'm assuming we'll be able to drive that around and hijack it maybe not the huge massive container ship we saw in the uh the other boat shop but this is a slightly smaller one so maybe we can drive that and these little islands around here they're just gonna be so fun to explore on a boat and this shot again once again we have another plane in the distance <laughs> and this shot here there's actually not too much to dissect other than the fact that we have a building in construction hopefully buildings in construction in this game will actually complete unlike the mile higher club in gta 5 we can see in the background everything's a little bit out of focus because obviously the depth of field of this shot but it looks like there's a really really high draw distance whether it'll be this good in the game i don't know because pretty much everything behind this shot i'm assuming will be turned off to get shots like this but the fact that everyone's doing something in the scene just shows that people have a living breathing world and they have things that they're doing throughout the day there's loads of theories about this being lucia i'm not even going to delve into that i don't think it is but she has a different mouth structure different teeth different nose different eyes but let's not get into that in this video and this is just so cool this is like a time lapse shot 
So this won't be in the game unless it's a cutscene, but it's a time lapse shot over the city. You see the sun rising in the background. The ray tracing, we can see it from reflection from just behind the sign. Gorgeous. And the social media shots, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this. I've already done a video about the GTA 6 social media app side of stuff, but I do wanna do a more of a deep dive into these shots and what we can see. But I will say for this, we can see that the footage is kind of downsampled to be an artificial HDR sort of effect, which is pretty much how all phones record video. So they've clearly tried to emulate the content we'd see on social media and how the color dynamics work once again we have another jet in the distance and then here the foliage in this back garden is absolutely unreal so realistic the guy's movements are so realistic so cleverly done then jiggle physics in full play something we can see from this as well the smoke animations are absolutely insane the fact that the smoke doesn't just appear around the car then dissipate it's created smoke and a haze throughout the whole segment. Now, whether we'll get this much density of smoke and fog in the game, I don't know. All depends on whether the PS5 can handle it, but we'll see. But the headlights shining through the smoke is so realistic and so cool. It doesn't appear like we have many new cars in this scene. There's some slightly different textured versions of ones we have in GTA 5, but there's not too much to know about this shot. And once again, this looks like the shot that they were actually filming down here. And you can see the headlights from the cars around it reflecting off the people so realistically. Now CCTV, I think CCTV and security cameras are going to play a big part in this game. From the leaks we had in 2022, we get the impression that Lucia is a good hacker and she's quite technologically advanced with this sort of technology. So maybe that comes into the game of like hacking security cameras to turn them off or uh, being able to see security cameras within the game on TV and stuff. Who knows? But something about the shot is... NPCs outside all together doing something. They've obviously come to the, the gas station together. This person's waiting for their car to fill up and they're leaning over the bed of the pickup. Very realistic. I imagine they spent a lot more time animating these sequences of people doing activities. Like in the background, there's a guy here just sat down having a coffee. Guy here shopping. A bit confused why there's a, an alligator in there. <laughs> and this shot here is a similar sort of thing when it comes back to body cam footage but the way we can see this door break the latch we can see this door here as the latch breaks particles fly off and i think there is something we can see in the game we can see here beware the dog looks like chop i'm pretty sure that's the same sign we saw at franklin's house for chop and here as well like the uh the mailbox is completely full rather than being a blank texture that's left on the wall it's actually somewhat realistic this fpv view of the dude holding the gun is just absolutely phenomenal now next thing as well is this guy's got a pickup truck with a boat on the back in my boat video i wasn't sure if that was a boat on the back uh, but i've actually upscaled the image and yeah it is a boat so <laughs> i think that we are going to get a fuel dynamic in the game where we have to get fuel for the cars we've had two shots now that have petrol stations in them i'm pretty pretty certain that's probably alluding to the fact that we are going to have a more realistic fuel dynamic especially over the past couple of years the gta 5 roleplay community has become a massive part of the gta community it started off as a really fringe side thing and now it's like a big part so much so that rockstar actually bought the company that made 5m and obviously this is referencing real world events that have happened in real life it's pretty cool you can see this massive lifted truck so sick and there's a few things we can unpack from this shop firstly lens flare the highlights from the headlights of this car hitting the rear bumper of the car behind and actually hitting the guy who's really sunburnt so realistic now something else you can see here people have social media handles in the back of their cars a few cars that had that on there so that probably ties back into the social media side of the game. Ride Out Customs has been presumed to be the, the customization shop within the game and Vice Vinyl, so maybe a vinyl wrapping shop because in GTA you've been able to paint your cars before but since GTA 5 came out, vinyl wrapping has become way more mainstream than painting. Having a wrapping shop I think is something that's quite likely and the hair animations here are so realistic. And something else as well, with this paintwork, you can see obviously that the paint has fleck in it. And the way the light shines off it is so realistic. Also the paint, the wrap. You can even see it inside the door jams, the, re the realism. The it's just phenomenal. This is reference to something that happened in real life, a guy water in his garden. Um, you can also see the interior of his house. Now, whether we can actually explore interiors like this house or whether that's just the parallax effect that they've implemented for the game, we don't know. Now, this scene's had a lot of attention. Some people have said that that's children in the background. I don't think it is. I think they are adults that or late teens that are just further away. There's nothing in this trailer that indicates that we do have children in the game. A lot of people said because there was children in Red Dead Redemption 2, we're likely to have it in this, but the nature of the two games are very different. You can see in the background, a monster truck going over a jump. 
so cool we can also see in the background we've got different sorts of atvs as well which can be really interesting something i want to point out is firstly she has the thickest hips i've ever seen i'm all for it the fact that this truck is creating a bow wake with its front wheel and the water animations it's like dirty water so we can see the waters dive from the splashes and stuff because in red dead redemption 2 when you're in dirty water and you splash it actually is the same animation same splash animation that's used for clean water and obviously this is a massive callback to a social media clip that went viral like rockstar pay attention to what's happening on the line it's so cool the way the light shines off this side of her body and in the background on the car is overexposed they're really trying to emulate phone footage it's so cool now this shot here we can't tell too much about it we can tell that there's cars going up with massive dirt hill in the background back to that kind of off-road mudding scene again but the way this table breaks is what got me someone at rockstar spent a lot of time getting this animation down and they've absolutely nailed it the way that drinks go flying everywhere look at the water animation coming out of the drink crazy good and here as well we can see a lot of examples of ray tracing next gen consoles are gonna have to be so powerful to handle this now this here is a cut scene or something that's animated in i don't think this is gameplay so here we can see a car crash and it's on its roof and the debris around it is so realistic like in gta 5 when you crash a car your car gets some damage but that's about it but like in GTA 4, we saw wheels cave in like this. We didn't so much see that in GTA 5. It wasn't as realistic, but this really is a realistic scene. There's not too much to say about this in terms of like realism. Obviously, this is based on real life. This is so cool as well, like groups of people on bikes and quads together. And you can see the exhaust smoke from the back of this bike looks so real i don't think this is a production value thing i think this is something related to in the game in the leaks we got in 2022 someone managed to get all the world events items from it so like do you know in um in gta 5 you had like strangers and freaks missions and red Dead redemption 2 where you'd meet a random or out you can either race them on your horse or race them in your car whatever gta 6 has the same random world events and one of them was like an atv race so maybe this is something like that where you race people on atvs pretty cool and i talked a bit about the shot in my last video about how the people around the scene are partaking they're not just actively avoiding it cars just aren't driving around it pedestrians are running out of the way like this guy over here running or he or she is just running away from the scene which is really cool and this porsche as well oof, oof. or fist of comet as it's called in gta but same here as well we've got lens flares we've got realistic lighting from the headlights of cars now that's something that in gta 5 just wasn't very realistic at all just the way that headlights interact with people and the environment around them and that people weren't casting shadows realistically headlights and light rays weren't realistic Stick. they've absolutely nailed it in this it looks like the, this truck has records in the back there was something in the leaks about a someone looking to become a musician or a, a music producer so maybe this ties back into that and here's the interior of a shop which is so realistic look at all the texture in the background the items on the shelves look so realistic this could be a video clip of a shop like it's so clear obviously they've just robbed this dude got some cash in their hands and this as well so realistic the way that lucy is grabbing the door as the car leans for, to hold on that sort of like realism in terms of reacting is something that we've never seen in a gta game before and all the leaves flying up in the air as the car goes past see whether we'd get that much realism with like leaves and stuff don't know that could be a production value element that's been added in for the trailer or it could be something we can expect to see in the game in real life and then this light in the background giving off a lens flare across lucia's face it's so cool now we've seen a lot of close-ups of lucia's face and her face looks there are some imperfections in her cheeks which make it a lot more realistic but jason's face in this shot is one that i find a lot more interesting there's a lot more depth to it you can see the freckles on his face you can see he's got a scar on his chin the detail it looks like it could be a video is ridiculous the hair on his chest the fact that we actually have the line of where his body is and the line of where his hair is and on his ear we can see two piercing holes from where he's had piercings in before but taking them out and something i want to say in this shot here is the shadows of their feet and the doors opening it's so realistic and you can see in the door here this is actually a throwback to a wanted poster we had in red dead redemption 2 and we can see the petty forever sticker on the door obviously paying homage to tom petty then we've got the two in the pink one in the stink hand sign <laughs> we will no longer accept cash stored in underwear in the background of the shop we can obviously see a lot of haze and humidity now whether it will be this dense in the game like i said earlier in the video we have no idea but it's very realistic and so cleanly done and then we have the bit that made us all cry bruh thank you all for watching today's video i will do another video deep diving into the social media aspect of gta 6 that'll probably be my next video because there's a lot more to go into that i feel like when i did my gta 6 app video i barely even scratched the surface of what i actually wanted to say so that'll be in the next video but thank you all for watching today's video and thank you for 3,000 subscribers as well that's nuts to get here so fast is crazy to me so thank you for watching i look forward to seeing you all in the next video